Nice and slow. Moving it. Moving that is, not the butcher knife. <laughs> just go nice and slow. I just said that. Don't worry. She took a hit of whiskey even though she was pregnant. What's up with her? Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Another hand would be nice right here. Shit. Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town. By the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus. We'll be there. I have a feeling I should try to find a boat there. Like a boss. Oh, he's going berserk! Get back. That's what you call last stand. My last, last stand. Don't think so. So many of them. Don't get bit again. Not that it really actually matters. Reminds me of the scene where Rick goes back into the prison again. <laughs> Probably I would like a walk with more range to it though. Because I have a butcher knife. He's moving basically just on a will alone right now. He's already dead on the inside. Well, power. I want to know who this guy is. The heck? Oh, it's locked. He locked her in. Whoa! I got us adjoining rooms. Who the fuck is she? Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. This guy's pedo. 
written all over him. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. Uh... Okay, fine. That's what I thought. You shouldn't lie. Sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want? So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Cancelled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. 
some more than others. I'm not like you. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. It's more complicated than that. You lied to her about who you really are. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. That's not the whole story. The whole story? How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I'm sorry! I hear that. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No, shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. There's a freaking head in that I wish bag. it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just uh, about. Cleaver. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. 